Hi, my name is Peter Deli, and today I would like to tell you about CloudMac, how we can implement software-defined wireless local area networks. The motivation of CloudMac is as follows. If you look at access point hardware and software, you can see that they are getting fatter and fatter. So you need more, uh, uh, more capable hardware to process uh, the software that has even getting more and more features. So the question is, how can we offload some of the processing to data centers where computation is typically cheap? The second problem with today's enterprise wireless LANs is that there is no standard vendor independent way to deploy network applications. So the question we ask is, how can we deploy network applications in a vendor independent way? The third problem you can observe in wireless LANs is that the physical layer speeds are getting faster and faster and that makes it more and more difficult to process a full MAC layer on low power access point hardware. So here the question is how can we exploit the fast packet processing that we have in normal hardware switches to control transmissions in wireless LANs. We chose to use the principle of software defined networks to build Cloud Mac. The idea of software defined networks is as follows. You have an application layer and control layer and an infrastructure layer. In the infrastructure layer, you have networking devices such as, such as switches or routers. Those networking devices are fairly dumb, but they can be programmed using the OpenFlow protocol. The OpenFlow protocol allows to tell the networking devices how packets should be handled, for example, where a specific packet should be forwarded to or how headers should be rewritten. The networking devices are programmed by networking services that are located on the control layer. The networking services themselves provide APIs to business applications. So for example, a business application could issue a request to networking services to provide a certain end-to-end -end quality of service. The networking services need to translate this request into specific network configurations that then will be implemented using the OpenFlow protocol. With Cloud Mac, we mainly focus on the control layer and the infrastructure layer. So how does Cloud Mac work, and Cloud Mac work now? In Cloud Mac, we have virtual access points. Virtual access points are operating system instances in virtual machines, typically run on some virtual machine host such as Xen or vSphere Center. The virtual access points have virtual wireless LAN cards. Virtual wireless LAN cards are software drivers that appear to the operating system tools like it was a real hardware wireless LAN card, but instead it's just a software wireless LAN card that is generating MAC frames, uh, handling encryption and issuing control uh, commands. The physical counterpart of the virtual access points are the wireless termination points. Wireless termination points are slim access points. Uh, their sole functionality is to forward MAC frames. The wireless termination points and the virtual access points are connected using an OpenFlow enabled network. That network consists of OpenFlow switches and OpenFlow switches can be controlled uh, from an OpenFlow controller that runs different applications. The applications, for example, can uh, send an open flow command to the switch to ask the switch to treat specific packets in a different way. Users have normal 8.11 stations. No modifications on the clients are necessary to run Cloud Mac. Let's look how we transmit the frame in Cloud Mac. We are looking at the downlink case here. So an IP packet is coming from the internet to the virtual access point. The virtual access point adds a MAC header, a control header, and optionally encrypts the frame. The control header includes information about how the packet should be transmitted, for example, which transmission power should be used or what modul modulation and coding scheme should be selected. That now built frame is sent to the OpenFlow switch. The OpenFlow switch looks up the flow table and modifies the control header if there are appropriate rules in the flow table. 
For example, the transmission power could be rewritten here. And then the frame is outputted and sent to the wireless termination point. The wireless termination point reads and removes the control header and then it does the normal uh, real-time MAC processing and uh, physical layer processing. And then the uh, frame is eventually transmitted to the station. We have implemented Cloud Mac in uh, the wireless LAN test network at Carl Stott University. Specifically, we have implemented a small demo application that shows the flexibility of Cloud Mac. The goal is we have a station that is connected uh, to a virtual access point via the wireless termination point one, and we would like to move all traffic to wireless termination point two. That would enable applications such as mobility management or energy saving. If there's low network load, we could move the traffic to one from one wireless termination point to another wireless termination point and switch the first wireless termination point off. So first the packets are sent via wireless termination point one. In the next step, the control application at the OpenFlow controller issues a command to the OpenFlow switch to change the rule and then the packets are sent via wireless termination point two. So it's very simple here to implement handovers. We tested how many packets get lost during a handover with Cloud Mac and a normal wireless LAN, that is the reference network. As you can see, the number of lost packet reduces drastically with Cloud Mac. So that we have a median reduction from roughly 10,000 packets to 3.5 packets. The 3.5 packets are packets that are in flight or in hardware queues, which you do not handle. We just, uh, we just let them drop. The reference network has such a high loss because if we break the connection, the station needs to reassociate. That requires sometimes to scan for new access points and then do the reassociation. In Cloud Mac, that is not necessary because the association state is kept in the virtual access point. To summarize, what are the benefits of Cloud Mac? So let's go to the questions we asked initially. How can we offload some processing to data centers? Cloud Mac offers non-real-time functionality, non-real-time Mac functionality to be offloaded to virtual access points. By that, we can uh, reduce the processing on the physical access points or wireless termination points, as we call them. The second question we ask is, how can we deploy network applications in a vendor-independent way? Cloud Mac is built on the principles of software-defined networks and OpenFlow, so we can use OpenFlow, which is an open protocol, and the infrastructure that is provided with OpenFlow, such as switches and controllers. That easily allows to implement new applications. Our demo application, for example, just needed uh, a few lines of code to be implemented. The third questions, question we were asking is, how can we exploit the fast packet processing in hardware switches to control wireless LAN transmissions? With Cloud Mac, we add a control header to each frame. That control header can be rewritten by OpenFlow switches. And OpenFlow switches uh, do the rewriting in hardware, so we have a lot of performance benefits here. If you would like to get more information about Cloud Mac, please look at the link below the video to download the full paper.